Hi, everyone. It's Poe on the Call again. I'm Chris Rivers. And I'm Mandy Mack. <laughs> and we are so excited to be here. This will be a quick episode. It is a review episode of all the episodes we've gone through with quick little tidbits. And then we have some stuff coming up we're going to talk about as well. Um, so, yeah. Do you want to start it off, Mandy? Um, yeah. So this is episode 12. We've been <laughs> releasing one yes. every week yeah <laughs> since <laughs> january um it's been a wild ride we've learned a whole bunch um but yeah this is kind of a little little break so you can get caught up on all of the wonderful things that we've been releasing um because we've really interviewed a whole bunch of people and um <laughs> <laughs> they need to catch up <laughs> yeah it's and amazing we'll, interviews too hell yeah and hopefully yeah. we'll have some, some more lined up um, so feel free to reach out during this break if you want to be interviewed. Um, we would love to hear your story and share your story. And again, it doesn't even matter if you like feel like you are a nobody. <laughs> you are not a nobody. Um, make yourself known, share your story, and I'm sure it'll inspire somebody um, you know, that will listen. And uh, so we'll start at our very first episode, episode one. Yeah. And that was what to expect from your very first poll class. <laughs> and I found that one was actually really helpful to, um, I know I've been, you know, as a studio owner, we get a lot of emails coming in from new students and they're like, Hey, um, what do I do? So now I just give them this, this link. I mean, obviously I'll, I'll explain more in detail because I'm not a, a dumb dumb, <laughs> but it was also sent them this link. Um, and it's really helpful just to get for students who have no idea what's going on in a poll class to get to know it. <laughs> yes, I um, I really love that episode because that was our first episode and we had to work out a lot of kinks and it was so much fun. But even to this day, I enjoy getting students online or in person that say thank you for having that episode and going into it because that's kind of what pushed me like to actually try it and take my first step. Like, um, and I enjoy hearing that. I've had a couple people since that episode and it really pumps me up. I'm so glad that that information could help people. So if you know anybody that wants to start pole dancing or pole fitness and might be a little scared to take that first step, send them that way. And hopefully it gets them inspired to do it. If not, send them to reach out to us and we'll try to get them inspired. Um, but that was a fun episode. Um, definitely check yes. that out if you haven't already. Most of you probably already have since that was the first one. Um, <laughs> and I think that's it for that one, really. Yeah, and I mean, and also every episode is, you know, on our, our blog, on our um, YouTube, so you can watch it. And it's also as a podcast, too. So, like, you can really listen to any of these episodes in your car. Um, you know, you can be sitting in a waiting room <laughs> listening with your earphones on. Um, so we, we kind of went out <laughs> to, to make it really accessible for everyone. Um, so you can also share it in multiple ways as well. And then the episode two, we went into the different levels and styles of poll and we revealed some of our favorites. And this is also a good resource for um, new students, you know, after they've taken their first class, where do we go from here? And the answer was really anywhere, anywhere. <laughs> I really also enjoyed that episode and I'm hoping that it inspires people to start creating their own different styles of pole. Cause we definitely covered a lot. I mean, we covered pole ballet, the sexy floor work, sexy flow. Um, and there's just so many different styles that we go into. And there's so many more that aren't created that need to. So Definitely check that out if you need some inspiration to try different styles of pole work and experiment to see what you like and maybe create your own. Yes. <laughs> the world is your oyster. It sure is. And then uh, episode three, we went into the different hand grips and body grips and different grips you use on pole and why we use them. And we explored all the ones that were left at our studio <laughs> and a little bit more that we've also heard from. And even since that episode has come out, I've come across even more hand grips. And, um, you know, it actually made me think more about uh, the grips that I use for my body 
and making them more efficient for my own body. And this is another one that I also send out to, to students because it's just a, a good resource for, you know, the different types. And, and also just like letting you know that, that all bodies and skin, skin types are different and you just need to figure out the one that's going to work for you. I remember that hand grip episode. That was, that was a lot of <laughs> information, but <laughs> it was fun because I feel even when we were recording it, I learned some more about some pole grips that I wasn't aware of. Um, I have since then tried them. Some of them work, some of them don't, but it's like you said, experimenting and finding what works for our body. And there's so many pole grips out there. I'm thinking we might have to make another episode in the future. I was thinking about that too. <laughs> if there's like, there's comment sections on all of our um, content. So if you come across, um, you know, this or any of them in particular, and you have some comments, add the comments, um, add your favorite hand grip, let us know what you use. Um, yeah, and we'll use it for an upcoming episode because there's a million more hand grips. <laughs> That's a plan it out now. <laughs> that was a yes. good one. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, episode four, we came and we had our first interview with the amazing pole instructor and pole coach, uh, Jamie Louise. And she was so awesome um, to tell us about her journey in pole. And um, and we recently had our, at our, our studio, she taught some in-studio workshops at Pole and the Wall. Um, in Springfield. And, and so that was really awesome to meet her in person as well. But yeah, go check out her interview. Uh, that was episode four. <laughs> yes, episode four was so fun. Um, it was our first interview. So we were nervous as hell. And I'm sure she was nervous too. Um, but we learned a lot about her coaching history, PSO judging, and PSO history, and also about her new life coaching program, which I guess... <laughs> isn't so new anymore because that was back in January, but it encouraged me to give it a try, which I did. I ended up reaching out to her after, and it was such a beautiful experience. We are ending our three months this month, and I will say it helped. Um, it's the Pole Dancer Life Coach, and I will say it helped me gather my thoughts for training and training correctly and doing what I need to. Cause I mean, there's one thing to train hard, take all the classes and spend two, three hours of training, but there's another of actually planning it, taking the time to um, plan your goals. Why do you want to do certain trainings? Um, what pole tricks are you trying to get to? And we, it was the life coaching process really helped me to break it down and take it step by step um I definitely recommend it there was so much more she gave us like conditioning exercises to fit us based on our goals and our body type she would help us measure like our flexibility degrees um especially for like IPSF because they measure things like that um it was an interesting experience it was so beautiful I loved it we were the first cycle it was so new for me and it was so beautiful so definitely try it out check out that episode and you can follow her on her Instagram as well Excellent. I'm looking at our list here and it's definitely not in order. <laughs> I didn't put it in order. So I'm trying to remember because we had an um, interview and then we had um, uh, just the two of us. So I believe the next one must have been the pole safety episode. It was pole safety. And then I think we had... Salish Charming. After, right after that. Okay, so the next one would be episode five, which is pole safety at home in the studio and in the club. And we went off for like hours and hours and hours uh, <laughs> about all of the different safety things um, just to keep in mind when you're, you know, in the, the studio, when you're at home in your own home pole studio um, and anywhere else you want to pole. So that was a good resource for that. And Again, we'll probably have to do another episode in the future about pole safety because it's always ever changing. <laughs> I enjoyed that episode. I felt like as a pole dancer and pole instructor, it helped me um, relearn and rethink about things that we touched back on, but we don't like we try to practice it but there's so much information that it's easy to forget like tidbits when you're in the middle of it all so i really enjoyed 
recording that and sharing that because it helped me solidify certain teaching skills and certain poll skills for me as well. So that's a good video if you're polling at home or even in the strip club, or if you're thinking, I wanna be a teacher, um, what are the safety requirements? How can I really be the best teacher I can be? That's That would be a good episode to check out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So then that would bring us to episode six, which was our interview with the amazing Salis Charming of the Pole Circus. And it was so exciting to talk with her and, and learn about how she got into pole and how she started the pole circus. And then Chris and I competed in the pole circus and it was super fun. <laughs> we had a blast. Totally do it again. 100% recommend. And the episode you should definitely, definitely listen to. <laughs> Oh, MG, I had so much fun with that. And with the pole circus. <laughs> Salis <laughs> Charming is a beautiful pole dancer. And she went into her history with um, traveling and pole dancing and creating the pole circus and even her experience in parapole because of um, being a deaf pole dancer. And we also were able to talk about how studios can be more accessible for deaf pole dancers um, and people who might have other disabilities that you don't think about when you have students come in. It's not something that you automatically think about, but we should start. So it was cool to touch on that. And like Manly said, that fucking pole circus was amazing. I had like a little pole circus viewing party, which like no one showed up, only one person came, but it was still fun. (laughs) (laughs) It was so nice. So many people like I followed so many people that performed and they followed me back. There was like almost 50, 60 performances. It was so gorgeous and it was so supportive. It was a live broadcast and they could write the comments and it was so nice. It really was. So definitely give that a try in the summer coming out, summer showcase, all ages. Yes. And there was two people, two people watching you because I was watching you too. You are too cute. <laughs> it took me a moment to think about it. <laughs> it was a two, two person watch party. <laughs> yes. You're so sweet. Thank you. I love you. Oh my God. They so, loved you. I was watching in your comments. I was like, damn, get it, Mandy. <laughs> it was really, really fun. I loved it. Oh my God. <laughs> One of your comments, I think, was, Why haven't I ever heard of her before? <laughs> <laughs> we'll just watch my head get like bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I know every day I tell myself, stay humble, stay humble. <laughs> Maybe we got to make that a Monday motivation quote. <laughs> stay, stay humble. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, so now I'm confused again with, with my list. I don't know why I didn't. I believe like... after Salas Charming, we then went into Paulina. Paulina. So we didn't have like a, a break in between the interviews. We just went think, into Paulina. I think we wanted to, but because of timing, it just didn't work. Yeah, out. yeah. Okay. So, that, so <laughs> listeners, that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> so the next one was our interview with the amazing Paulina, who is an instructor at our studio and it was so awesome to once again learn about her her journey and and really all, ever, all of the pole dancers that we've talked to have just been so inspiring and like I've taken on all of their training tips and they've really like helped me um, advance in my own personal pole journey as well so um, I would highly recommend listening to Paulina's story it was you know like I've I've known her for quite a while but I didn't know many things Um, that she revealed to us so it was definitely a treat (laughs) oh my goodness that was definitely one of my favorite ones because you and Paulina are like my pole coach and pole mom so it was so (laughs) nice to learn about her um, learn about her history which if I remember correctly started in London to learn about the differences of pole dancing in Russia Ukraine and London and here it was just so nice to hear about that from someone who's been all over and got training like in different places it was beautiful to hear and get to like you said know so much about her because we're always in the studio we're always training and yeah we talk about what's going on but we don't really get to really sometimes dive into it and get to know each other which is always nice yeah then after Paulina's episode we had our episode about building 
self-confidence and sharing your pull story, your pull journey, which was a really good one. Um, and it just, another one that a good resource to send students um, because sometimes it's hard to open up about your pull journey, but as we know, if you are able to, you know, present yourself and, and be um, courageous enough to be yourself um, in front of others, then they will also be inspired to, you know, become more like that as well. And, and everyone will be authentic. <laughs> and that's what we're, we're going for. Um, not just in poll, but in life, I guess, as well. <laughs> that was definitely, it was a hard, um, I want to say that was probably one of the hardest ones because it's hard to talk about different ways to stay self-confident because we all suffer from it. Even instructors, mm -hmm. you might think your instructor is like, oh my God, yes, I got this, but that's not how we are. We are humans just like you and we get low self-esteem about it as well. Um, so that was a very hard episode to get into, but it was very well needed and very cool. And the fact that it helped remind me of certain things that like I used to do and sometimes forget because of busyness. Um, and that was definitely a hard day because I was in my head about my self-esteem too. <laughs> I think I like wasn't sticking to the pole or something. I can't even remember. Um, and I remember we also went into different ways of sharing your pole journey um, in case you want to share it, but because of your job or your family, you can't. We went into like wearing masks or costumes or creating a private profile, various ways like that, which was cool. Um, that was a good episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was just about to say, like, I, I also, um, you know, some of the things that we discussed in that episode is also advice for me. And I think a lot of times, like, we, we give the advice, you know, we don't take it for ourselves, but um, it's a good resource for me. So thank you, Chris, for the episode. <laughs> and now it's available. Yeah. And after that, we had our, our interview with the amazing uh, pole dancer and competitor, Baby Stud Muffin, who we met at PSO Northeast. Is that correct? Did I go in the order? I believe we had <laughs> Fran of Body by Fran before Baby Stud Muffin. Oh, you're right. I forgot about Body by Fran. How can yes. I forget about Body by Fran? Body by Fran is so amazing. She is a pole coach. She's a strength and conditioning coach. She has so many wonderful resources on her Instagram page for pole dancers and um, how to train at all of the tricks that you want to get, all the strength-based tricks. Um, yeah, and her it was so awesome to hear her story as well. Sorry, Body by Fran. <laughs> <laughs> That, that interview was so fun. Um, she actually, I believe, if I remember correctly, reached out to us and we were so excited about it. Um, and then um, I started following her. I was like, why the f have I, I ever heard of her before or seen her? Like, these videos are amazing. She's incredible. And just learning her story about her age and her pole journey and being a world pole competitor and her travels was beautiful. And it was nice because I got to really, when we made it, um, we put all the links in the comments. So I got to like dive into it. So I was like, holy crap, she literally has courses on how to get your handsprings, how to do this, how to do that. I'm really looking at the handspring one once I get the money, but that would be time. Um, and she's actually doing right now like a beta testing for a shoulder mount course, where if you apply and she accepts you, you can go through the whole course free and get discounts for future courses. Like she is absolutely incredible. Every day you get on Instagram, you get certain conditioning exercises or even like cute little funny pole videos. It's like, she really like inspired me to up my pole Instagram game. That's for damn sure. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Thank you, body. Yeah. It's such a pleasure. Yes. Hell yeah. Yeah, and thank you for also reaching out. Like we said, if anybody else wants to reach out to us to be interviewed, we would love the opportunity to, to learn about you. So then after we had Baby Step Muffin. <laughs> Man, I wish I had re reorganized the list. We, it was Fran. 
then it might have been baby stud muffin because the certifications was this week yeah so then it was baby stud muffin <laughs> uh, uh, like i said we met him at, at pso northeast uh, in November and, and we saw his beautiful piece on stage and it was so moving and touching that we, you know, instantly had to be his friend. <laughs> <laughs> and then later um, got the opportunity to interview him and learn more about his story. And it was just really inspiring to learn, you know, um, didn't have any sort of dam dancer movement background and now is just an incredible mover, inspiring mover. Um, so yeah, that was yeah. awesome. That was a fun interview. I think he was also our first male pole dancer we got to interview, which was so awesome. Um, and he had a lot of amazing tips. Like um, if you fail the trick, just do it again right away <laughs> rather than wait and think about the failing. Just keep doing it and repeating it. Um, his PSO performance, OMG, to this day, so inspiring. Like I went up to him after his performance, poor guy sweating and huffing and puffing. I was like, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, he was so awesome and warm and not warm, but like welcoming. So nice. And like, yes, my pleasure. His story of his, um, of getting HIV and how he portrayed that in the dance was beautiful. And it got me do um wanting to create something along those lines for the competition i'm about to go in i don't know if it's going to be as good but it is definitely going to be fun to do because he oh my god it was so i can't even explain it you just have to see it it was such a powerful piece like he really hammered the fucking story in your head <laughs> um but that was a fun interview i can't wait to go out and visit someday in new york poll that would be fun and like if he said if he ever gets certified Fine. he'll come and teach yes. <laughs> <laughs> right love it so then yeah then then we come to um this past week which is the one we just released the various ways to get certified to teach pole dance and it was once again a, a longer list than we had expected and i'm sure it's still growing um even you know this week after we've released the episode so definitely check out that episode and like we said in the episode, you know, you don't even have to be um, wanting to teach pole anytime in the future. Uh, getting certified to teach pole helps you grow as a pole dancer. And, um, you know, also like fills in maybe the gaps because uh, sometimes we don't go to all of the classes at our studio every single week. Uh, you can miss some like basic things that teacher training is going to like really solidify all of the foundation things that you need and maybe inspire you to, to help others as well. So that's what that episode was for. Uh, that episode was fun. I learned so much. Kind of frustrated me, because remember in the episode I said, I'm gonna check these out. So I went and checked them out. <laughs> and the two twerk classes that I'm really interested in only take women. I was like, no. Really? <laughs> Yes. What? I mean, why? I am like all four, but I like searched those sites for like any, the tw the two twerk ones. I think it was twerk after work and twerk technician. And I was heartbroken. Aww. Absolutely heartbroken. That's, that sucks. <laughs> I mean, I can understand, I guess, for some reasons, but, but still that sucks because like, how are you going to learn how to twerk? <laughs> yeah. So it was a very good episode. I learned a lot, but that was my experience. Of going ah. <laughs> um, there's so many links there. Like she said, so many from even different countries and different with foreign um, in a different foreign language, if that is what you prefer. Um, so check out that list. It was more extensive than we anticipated. I think it even included like aerial certification, like different aerial certifications like hoops, lira, and floor work and sexy floor work and chair dance. There was a lot. So check it out. Yeah, yeah. Cause because yeah, you don't have to just do tricks. You can do dance flow, whatever you want. Um, and there's techniques to all of it. Maybe, you know, things that you didn't even think of as a wonderful student who's been taking classes for millions of years. You know, it's always good to just get that little little certification <laughs> i think that was all of our episodes so it seems like it's not all of them we're going into episode 11 or 12 right nine ten eleven i'm pretty sure yeah. that's all 
yeah, yeah. this is <laughs> yeah that was all of them <laughs> i love it it was just because i did them out of order <laughs> confused but yeah and, okay, and our no. latest Actually, Our latest no. one that we just yes. did. <laughs> yes. I was going to say, so it sh- that one should be for Mary before this one. Yes. Yes. <laughs> episode 12, right? Oh, no, this yes. is episode 12. Oh, my gosh. Numbers. What are they? We don't know. So but anyway, <laughs> whatever episode is before this one, we got to interview the amazing Terry, also known as Scarlet Inferno. And she was just so amazing to learn about. And she just, you know, was so enthusiastic about her pole journey. And and um, also it was cool to learn, you know, no previous dance or fitness or anything background and completely started pole dance at, I think she said age 66 and immediately like fell in love and is performing. <laughs> so amazing. Like a year and a half or so. It was like during Corona she started. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and like now she's just killing it and inspiring yeah. everyone. So um, definitely check so out that episode. <laughs> that was so fun to do. We we virtually almost didn't have to ask her anything. It was truly like it felt like a conversation of just people getting to know each other. It was a beautiful experience. It was very different. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I at some parts I felt bad. I was like, we didn't even have to ask her anything. She just gave it to us, which was awesome. <laughs> Um, but it was so nice. It really felt like we just conversed with her, had kind of known her for a moment. It was such a beautiful Yeah. Story. Yeah. Right. Like, I feel like we could have just kept talking for like all day. <laughs> I know. It was, oh my God. It was so fun. Check out that interview. She is such a beautiful woman and a beautiful soul. Definitely check that out. Yes, for sure. Um, so that's all of our episodes that you need to catch up on. But if you thought that was all of the work you had to do on this little break, <laughs> <laughs> you are wrong. There's more. We have a shop tab on our website. <laughs> and there's some pretty cool stuff there. There's some free things and um, there's going to be some more uh, paid things that we're really working hard um, to bring to you guys. So um, we'll start talking about them now. Um, first up. If you go to the shop tab, there's a free beginner pole um, ebook, and it's a free pole dance guide, and it's awesome. It has um, just beginner moves, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm on mute. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just beginner moves in that one, um, and it's and it's free, so you can get it, and you can have it. You know, if you're a home polar. Um, it would be a great guide for you to have, you know, in case you don't always have classes ac- accessible to you, um, you can use the little guide. And um, then we also have a free seven day pole dance e-course. So you sign up for it and um, we send you exercises for seven days so you can get inspired to do all of those exercises. And um, that's also beginner level as well, right? That one, yes. Um, actually, towards the seventh day, it kind of has little into like level two. And um, I'm glad you mentioned that. That one actually changed. So instead of getting um, before it used to be an email every day, now you get one email and it has all the um, tricks yeah. and videos divided by those seven days. So you can just have one document, one email and go in easily quick. It gives you the link to the video, um, etc. cetera. Uh, so you can do it in your own time and you don't get... Uh an email every day like did you yes. do your homework <laughs> yes. I got that idea from you to just kind of put it all in one document <laughs> so they can access it so that is exactly what I did and that is how it is so no more emails every day for seven days you get one email <laughs> with all of it <laughs> perfect love it so that is available on our shop tab again it's free you can get it right now you can share the link with a friend um, and everyone can have a good time with it seven day e-course yes and sorry to interrupt i some people are reaching out to me that they didn't get it look in your spam Uh, folder uh, that's where it is because you've probably never gotten an email from us so you need to move us from the spam emails to like people who can contact you so you probably did get it but it's not in the primary folder (laughs) (laughs) right now it's labeled like in gmail it could be promotions or updates too 
it's ridiculous check, primary check them all. <laughs> and promotion yeah yeah check all of the folders it'll be in there and then if you don't see it then obviously reach out to us and we'll try to figure it out yes we will <laughs> but then the last thing we have available right now um and there will be more very very soon but we have our very exciting interactive pull trick poster and it's the digital version for right now so you'll get a a pdf of this poster and it's beginner level. And the cool thing about this poster is you've got the picture of the trick, you've got the name of the trick, maybe an, an alternate name that we've known of and a QR code. So you can scan the code with your phone and then it'll pull up the trick on your phone and you can um, learn the tutorial of the trick. And yep. so it's great for studios and home studios and um, gifts you can give to a friend. Um, wow. And soon we'll have actual hard copies of this poster and soon we'll have like a pre-order um, link available. So you can um, tell us that you're interested in getting this uh, when it's available. And in addition to the beginner ones, we're going to have all different levels, intermediate, advanced. Um, we're going to have a floor work one. Um, what are the types? A floor work one, a combo one. Uh, um, and then... Beginner, intermediate, advanced, floor work, combo. And then I think like there's a flexi one, like all flexi. Mm. It's uh, there's a lot. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> and I think there, I think we'll probably even be able to make more because there's over like 5,000 pole moves. So mm. yeah. So we're just trying to put them in, in digital form and poster form for you guys. And like I said, right now, we've got the PDF of the beginner one that's available right now for $20 and you can get it and, you know, enjoy it and let us know how you like it. <laughs> the intermediate one, all we're waiting for is my tutorials, right? The updated ones? I think so, I think yeah. So. so it should be coming out so pretty soon. Okay. <laughs> no, it's not you. I I've also have to design it. <laughs> Okay. Well, I've been thinking about it. I was like, what are we waiting for for the intermediate? I'm pretty sure it's my tutorials so you can create the um, QR codes and add it. Like okay. <laughs> we just have to like organize. <laughs> <laughs> it's just taking us a moment, which is why well, we're the, taking a break. The way I've been doing it is like <laughs> when I like do a tutorial, I add it to the full ebook I'm making that's now beginner and intermediate. So I can ah, kind right. of save time, but it's also taking time. But then you said you'll make the QR code. So now I'm just making a QR code for the ebook and then doing okay. the tutorials. But I think I need to update some of them because some of them I explained wrong. So I want to redo those. Uh, yes. The life we of keep evolving. I know we keep evolving because we want it to be right. <laughs> um, but also things keep changing too. So yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. And there was one, I think we should mention like the genie getting into the yeah. genie <laughs> yeah and i've brought this up in class too and it's so funny like you never thought of this before but um like i get into the genie by externally rotating my legs from the hips but chris you I get in inter internally yeah. rotate and now i notice students as well get into this move in both different ways and it just depends on your hips yes. so yeah i think that's <laughs> one of the main videos i have to fix <laughs> right like yeah yeah and like so we evolved and we were trying to get it right so that everyone you know understands all the different ways and it's, there's not uh, just one way into a trick um yeah that like that's all of the things we have available on our website right now but if you head over to our youtube channel um, our youtube channel is pretty cool not only does it have all of like the videos of our episodes but it has some amazing tutorials and all sorts of poll stuff. So you can um, check that out, get our tutorials, share them, add them to your playlists on YouTube. Uh, what else can you do on YouTube? We're thinking about doing YouTube live, but that's only oh, if you Oh, yeah, all... yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you guys want that, we'll, we'll put that into the agenda as well. <laughs> I think, um, we had Instagram planned, live. I think we planned on like maybe oh, uploading like maybe warm ups and like short warm-ups and short workouts with time too that would be so. great yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah and that so that's all i have to say about the youtube channel right uh, yes i think for now definitely go and subscribe and share those videos they are like quick tutorials like mm. quick 
If you want longer tutorials, we could get into that too. Let us know. We just figured a quick tutorial, send you on your way. And yeah, but I do know there are um, people out there making like 15, 20 minute tutorials. So if you want that, let us know and we'll try. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And then if you head over to our Instagram, we have a whole party going on. Um, all of our um, posts we share every day. You know, we've got uh, Mondays, we've got Monday motivation posts where we invite you to send us uh, your pictures and maybe a quote that you um, would like to share with your picture or we can, you know, put a quote that is inspiring um, uh, uh, onto your picture and we'll share it every Monday. And, you know, it hopes to inspire everyone on our Instagram on Mondays. On Tuesdays, we have a trick tutorial. We post a new one every single Tuesday, and that's um, where you can find all of those tricks filed into the YouTube channel as well. Um, so if you missed it on Instagram, you can find it on YouTube. And uh, what do we have on Wednesdays? Wednesdays, so I think, we like promotion of our products and the last week's episode and tomorrow's episode for Thursday. Yeah, and every Thursday, as you know, we release a new episode, except for the next two weeks. <laughs> I'm sure it's taking a little break. But um, on Thursdays, is our episode release day. So that's what we like to do on Thursdays. And um, yeah, check in our, our Instagram stories. We usually share um, stories from our past interviewees and other things that you might like um, to know, maybe some poll news. Um, and if you ever want to tag us in some poll news, we can also like reshare that as well on our yeah. Instagram. And all our pot and the podcast you can stream on multiple services too. Um, we're on Spotify, Apple Music, Google Podcasts, Podcast Addicts, Spreaker, Castbox, um, iHeartRadio. I'm working on Stitcher because some people have asked you, but as of now, the app we're using doesn't to Stitcher. So I'm work I'm looking into other apps that will let us stream to Stitcher. So fingers crossed for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else? we are also on pinterest now pinterest. <laughs> yes. on our pinterest you'll find um quick tutorial videos that will link you to our youtube tutorials and you'll also find um links to our episodes our products and our online classes if you want to take online classes with us and get to know us more um a lot of cool stuff right now i have it scheduled to post like two posts a day to see how that goes, but hopefully with more time, we'll start posting more. But yeah, check out our Pinterest. It'll be some cool stuff. We'll be promoting online our online classes, which you don't get to see on our Instagram. Um, but yeah, check that out. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, I think that's all of the... We have a Facebook page too, but yes. is, anybody, <laughs> is anybody on Facebook pages anymore? I think we can still have people like us, but I really hate Facebook. So if you don't, that is okay. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Facebook only is good if you like give them millions of dollars. Um, <laughs> All the ads. Which we don't have yet. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. Yes. <laughs> but it. yeah, so we are on Facebook. If Facebook is your thing, you can also like tag us um, on Facebook if you like wanted to share us with a friend. Um, and I think all of our posts from Instagram are funneled to the Facebook. So that would also be another way you could share them. Um, if you do like Facebook and you can go on there. Uh, I think that's all of our social media. Yes. For now. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Stay we have about, an email list. Yes. A couple email lists. Yeah. You can sign up for our the ebook, the e-course, or just like any upcoming news in general through our website. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I think that's all of our things. I think we also didn't we want to promote my online workshops we're going. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, These are online only. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they're offered through um, our studio poll in the wall. Um, and they're taught by wonderful Chris Rivers. He's teaching <laughs> two, two online at home workshops. And it's a, a two week series. Uh, yeah. Do you want to talk a little bit more about them? Yeah. So um, they're, um, it's yoga at home and pole at home. But don't let the pole at home trick you. You do not need a pole to take it. Um, the goal with these classes was to reach 
students at home more. Um, so we're now sharing it with you on Poll on the Call. We're hoping we can get to meet y'all, um, which will be beautiful in this way. We're just, you know, experimenting as with anything you do in life. So we started these workshops and they're going to be from home. I'll teach from home. The yoga at home will be, um, each, each workshop is two days. Yoga at home is Friday at eight and Po at home is Saturday at 4.30. That's Eastern yes. Standard Time. Eastern Standard Time. Yes, you're right. Thank you for that. <laughs> we are in, we're in Massachusetts. Yes. Okay. Um, each but you two, can attend anywhere in the world. Yes. Each two online workshops will be $25. You do not have to attend at that time. If you sign up and can't make it, you will get the video to um, practice on your time. The yoga for flex, uh, the yoga at home will be, as you guessed it, to improve our flexibility for pole while also relaxing after a crazy week of whateverness. Um, and that will be on Fridays, two Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but you don't have to take it then. You can watch it later. And then the pole at home will be Saturday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, do not have to watch it at that time. You can get the video for later. And with the poll at home, you do not need a poll at home. I repeat, I know it says poll at home, but you do not need it. The goal of this class will be to condition with poll dancing and pole fitness in mind. So if you have a pole at home, awesome. We're going to do some tricks and some conditioning for those tricks um, and some cool stuff. If you do not have a pole at home, I have a little section on the side of things you will be doing calisthenic wise, body wise um, to condition yourself and to train yourself for those post pole moves and pole tricks and pole conditioning exercises that we will be working on. So, or if you want, if you have a pole at home, you can do all of it and really get a crazy workout. It will be intense, but it will be awesome. Get your pole tr trick and your calisthenics and you never know. Um, so those are those <laughs> workshops. Remember you can sign up online and you do not have to take it at that time you can get the video and take it whenever you want and we're hoping that it will allow us to meet all of you and start promoting online pole because pole dancing and pole fitness has changed you no longer have to go to a studio you can learn online on your time it's scary it's like taking a first step into pole dancing all over again but I mean, it is something cool and affordable for you to do if you can't always make it to the studio, if you want to get a good workout, but you can't make it at that time, get the video and do it whenever you like. So give it a try. That link will be in the bottom. I am so excited. If this works out, I can't wait to see what Mandy teaches from home. Like this will be, <laughs> will be awesome. <laughs> yes. I know just from like the, some of this, the online classes that we have at our studio, um, I, I enjoy them a lot because you get to like the community is so wide now. I'm, you know, we're dancing at the same time with students in Puerto Rico and yes. in Louisiana. And it's just so cool. And, like we talk about like, Oh, it's the weather like down there right now. <laughs> and, um, you know, we, we come back to each other. We remember things about our lives and, and we also, um, we also exercise. <laughs> There's also that too. But yeah, so the, the those two workshops I'm really excited about. Um, so definitely check them out. Um, like you said, it's on Fridays and Saturdays, but you don't have to attend live. But um, it is more fun if you if you can attend live for sure. <laughs> so we are going into some po news now. <laughs> um, did you have any po news, or would you like me to start this off? Um, let's have you start it off. All righty, so this is going to be hopefully quick and fun, but the first little <laughs> tidbit of pole news, I know we usually go into like competitions that are coming up. We're trying to slowly change that. We want to talk about competitions coming out, but also actual pole news. With that being said, let's get into it. So in lifestyle today, um, pole dancing was named one of seven workout uh, methods women wish men would get into. <laughs> so There's a cool. list. <laughs> yeah, so that was cool to read. Um, another thing I learned about today was about a young teenager named Francesca, Francesca, sorry, Cicerini in Italy, who has an amputee leg, and she is killing it with pole dancing. Um, 
I believe she was in an accident. Something happened that she lost her leg. Um, and she was really sad and depressed and she got into pole dancing and now she's killing it. And you can yeah. see her pole dance with her and with her um, amputated. Um, I forgot the name. God, forgive me. With the added leg on or you can see prosthetic. her with the, the prosthetic. Thank you. I don't know why I couldn't get that. You can see her pole dance with the prosthetic on or with it off. It is such an incredible, beautiful story. I'm so glad they shared that. That's awesome. um, her name is Francesca Cicerini. She's from Italy, and you can probably find her on Instagram. And next in poll is huge. So, as many of you know, um, there has been an ongoing battle to make pole an official sport and an official Olympics. Um, and I have recently learned a lot about that. Apparently, pole dance and pole fitness a couple years ago were both given observer status. Um, which f- according to the Global Association of International Sports Federation means that it's official sport. So people are saying that it's not a sport, but it really is. With that being said, they have recently, since it's on observer status and a sport status, they've been really looking into it, the different things that are going on. It's been, the article was about this and poker. Um, I guess poker is going through the same thing. And now they are thinking of bringing it to the Olympics. Um, British competitor Katie Coates, who I guess is the president of International Pole Sports Federation, she has been leading the movement and they have gone back to the table and they are considering bringing pole dancing and pole fitness to the Olympics. Um, It might not be the next one, but just the fact that they're actually considering it is huge because they did not want to do it for a while. That would be incredible. (laughs) <laughs> yes. and I so think incredible all I have for oh no that's not all for potent news um a Chinese nursery um found that having a pole dancer come and perform for the children like excites them and inspires them and stuff like that so uh nursery started doing that and they had wide success with it it was quite incredible to read um there was another story of I can't even remember her name, forgive me, of this female pole dancer. Um, She had a photo shoot and she took beautiful pictures of pole dancing in her third trimester. Like she was, Lord forgive me, huge, (laughs) about to pop. I just couldn't believe the photos I saw. It was quite incredible. Um, And yeah, I guess that's with the pole news. Pole con is coming up, pole circuses in the summer. You already know that because we talk about it all the time. Um, Body by Fran has a new program coming out to train your shoulder mounts. So check that out. She's in her beta testing phase now. That is going to be an amazing program. Um, Lord, anything else that you can think of? Oh, yes. UPSF, um, which is the United Pole Sports Federation. Your video submissions are due April 1st for the semifinals to get you into nationals and world pole. I just saw that. I was like, holy crap, they changed the date. It's April 1st. So if you're looking to get into that, you need to register by April 1st. So and pay soon. <laughs> yes, I know. I know that's what I said. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> so yes, that is all I have for pole news. I just remembered that the Pole Circus is having um, some awesome upcoming events. They, in addition to the summer fun um, competition, they've got let me let me pull it up. Some workshops coming up. Yes, and back hopefully, to basics, I saw. Um, when are these happening? <laughs> I know, let me look at. Oh, it's not like right on the website. Hold on. Instagram will tell us. There's a lot of workshops. Yeah, yeah. And I want to get the date right because I know they're coming up like real soon. April 2nd. So this episode will be released right before this. So um, make sure you sign up. (laughs) Um, It'll be last minute. There's um, chair dance, handstands, pole, spin pole, sexy, um, acrobatic, all sorts of different workshops from the pole circus and um from all like amazing amazing artists yeah Um, yeah just a really good opportunity and all online so there you can do it from wherever 
I know I was looking into those and I really want to do the handstand one, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> yes. Right. I want to do the Maddie Sparkle one so badly, but oh gee, that'd be so awesome. Let's see. Hopefully your fingers crossed. I know. Like I think that's it for for upcoming events that I know of. Um yeah. Yay. <laughs> that's it. So we're gonna be taking a, a two-week break um from you know, just from recording new content um, so we can give you uh, an opportunity to catch up on all of these things we just talked about and also upcoming events that are going to happen. And then when we come back, we're going to have an interview with the amazing Kelly Fowell, who is an instructor at our studio, yeah. Kelly Fowell Torza. <laughs> yeah. And um, so looking forward to that for sure. She's a ballet, ballet dancer, ballet teacher turned pole instructor um yeah. so <laughs> we get to learn more about her yes <laughs> i'll be going through those pole ballet warm-ups i'm like oh my god are we done <laughs> <laughs> so good though so good <laughs> but yeah so i guess um i don't have anything else to say i don't either that was i think we did good <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> Yeah, so check out our website. All of our links are on our website um, for all yeah. the things we mentioned. Um, you can, there's hours of fun awaiting you at pollonthecall.com. Yeah. <laughs> so much more to come. So excited for everything coming. Yes. Yes. And thank you so much for the support that you've given us, uh, you know, in our, our 12 weeks that we've been alive. <laughs> yeah. It's so been super fun. Great. We've learned a lot too. We appreciate all your comments, suggestions. Um, and all the love as well. I know we're so truly grateful. Remember to rest, take these two breaks to not only catch up, but rest. Cause that's our goal as well to kind of just rest, regroup, so we can of course come back and kill it again for y'all. <laughs> yes. um, that's the thing. Okay. Um, we have to plan in our rest because a yes. lot of us like we're pole dancers, we just go, go, go. We want to do all the things, but oh, rest oh is God. practice. It definitely practice. Is. <laughs> yeah. So get in that rest. <laughs> yes. And don't forget to send us your pictures with a quote, or you can just send us your picture and we'll add the quote. Um, we want to share you. And if you want to be interviewed, reach out to us at our email, which will be on the bottom or on IG, which will also be on the bottom. Yes. <laughs> and with that, we will sign off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm Mandy Mac. And I am Chris Rivers. And we are. We are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>